Hello everyone, this is Cool Pro 195 streaming live with my Winter Festival Grand Prix casual live stream number one for Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel being played on a PS4 Pro and yeah, I know it's quite late doing it at this point, especially since we're literally just approaching the brand new Grand Prix. We're literally like just approaching the Rustland Grand Prix which was just announced yesterday. On the 15th of January 2020, which, by the way, birthday shout out to Bandicoot 815, he's officially 25 as of yesterday. So happy birthday, man. So yeah, and today's the 16th, but it's like the Grand Prix, the Rustland Grand Prix hasn't started yet, so. And I didn't get a chance to, like, it starts in about half an hour, well, roughly 40 minutes but it's just approaching half an hour and the new update still hasn't been put in place as of yet but i think when it hits free i think like when it hits 3 p.m gmt like this time like in our time zone then well the time zone i'm in anyway then yeah the update should you know surface on psn but at the moment it hasn't come up yet or they might do it early, but anyways. Yeah. Wait, let me check it out on... Yeah, it's okay. Okay, it seems fine. I'm just gonna share around on social media. Yeah, it's gonna be... It's just gonna be a chill livestream, people. Just bear with me while I do, while I just post it all over social media real quick. Yeah, it's more chill than the previous live stream, as you can tell. Because, you know, as a more casual vibe, and basically I'll just be doing online matches for the most part. Oh yeah, speaking of which, just in case someone decides to join the commentary within that streaming, within the Graveyard Funhouse Discord server, I'll just jump in there just in case. There we go. But yeah, it's, so far things have been eventful, especially in terms of, you know, the new year. It has quietened down a bit. I'll explain a bit more later on. Alright. Maybe that's all that posted. I'm just gonna jump straight to the PS4. <clears throat> Might as well fire up the PS4 Pro. By the way, just in case anyone hears any, like, noises outside, yeah, it sounds like, like, it sounds like someone's chopping up a tree outside or some shit. I didn't know we had some lumberjacks, but what the fuck ever. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why Ava Media decided to fuck up, but okay. It just wants to be like that. calls for a reset.
yeah, Rex Central still hasn't. There's still a lot to improve in terms of Rex Central. So Ava Media, even though it has a great, the capture card is amazing. It's still, like its software could still do a lot of improvement, especially with how it interacts with OBS Studio. Anyways, let's jump right in. It'll be a short live stream as well. Well, it'll be fairly short considering, you know, the Rustland Grand Prix is starting soon, and not only that, but it's just a chill live stream anyway. It's nothing too eventful like the last live stream. The previous live stream was amazing, just like playing Crash Bash, like completing it any percent, or just like completing it in general. For like the first time in ages and doing it live. Like to celebrate 2020 it was awesome. Yeah, pretty much this would be the last time we see it. And yeah, I'm pretty much doing this live stream to part ways with the Winter Festival Grand Prix that has obviously just been and gone. As you can see, this the Winter Festival introduced this opening sequence, which you know is obviously has a Christmas theme to it. There's like Rudolph Crash, just like flying around and whatnot. I'm wearing a scarf and gloves. And I like what they did with that, and all the cakes and everything. It reminds me of Winter Wonderland. Amazing place. But yeah, anyways. Let's jump back into this. Yeah, and as you can tell, the Winter Festival Grand Prix is over and I've already earned like, you know, all the rewards. So yeah, that's the gold tier complete. And basically, I finished the gold tier. Like, as soon as I finished the gold tier, I just had to take time out, especially since I had family staying over for both Christmas and New Year's. So like, that ex also explains my current position on the championship leaderboard as you can see. Like, I was like much further up before, until I took like a long ass break from playing the game. But I still got the championship, I still got the Winter Festival championship decal. Thank fuck for that. Like, I thought I was gonna lose it, but thank fuck. Because I did... Of course, I did hit it at some point. So you gotta be... Like, in the top 5% in order to get the championship decal for the carton. Thankfully, I got mine. Yeah, I think I know where it is as well. I could have showcased the animation, but I didn't even know it was going to come up because obviously I assumed that I didn't get it, so I just... I took a screenshot at the time. So that should help. And there we go, people. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 The Winter Festival Championship decal. Yeah, that's all there was to see, to be honest. I only just wanted to put it up there just for the fun of it. No, the game hasn't crashed. It's just a screenshot. But yeah. Anyways, it was awesome. Well, it was also a relief to know that I actually got it as well. And, like, you know, didn't lose it. It's good that just because you don't lose your rank, you don't lose, you know, the decal that you actually worked hard for you don't lose the reward and yeah i'll just be playing online right now so that's pretty much all i'll be doing in this live stream because obviously until the grand prix starts there'll be no challenges and i think i'll 
just be doing a short live stream just so you know it'd be chill I don't expect a lot of people to show up since especially since this isn't the time that I would usually live stream but for those of you who are here I really appreciate you guys joining I have four live viewers as I can see live viewers as I can see yeah I just had to listen back just in case there was anything wrong but anyways yeah I was playing a stew last time I think I'll change character first yeah I've already unlocked of course that was like the final reward for completing the gold tier Lizard Rider Hasty Pilot in Command I'll see a speedway what track Yeah, you know, I'll choose the championship decal plus the winter festival Winter festival decal just for the fun of it Like not to flex, but you know I can't customize anymore since I'm this far into the lobby now But yeah, I hope you lot are pumped for the Rustland Grand Prix, it's gonna be awesome. I don't know why for some reason it doesn't roll off the tongue perfectly, but, well at least for me. But you know, it depends. We are playing Crash Bash in the previous livestream to celebrate its upcoming 20th anniversary in 2020. Like, it was really eventful, and... I can't exactly remember what I was gonna say next about it, but... Hey, that's what, you know, live commentary does to you. Can't always improv on the spot, but hey... We're all human. Wow, what a name, Hung Wolves. Okay, this is gonna be crazy as fuck eventful. Okay, thank fuck I didn't get that TNT on my head. Wow, for fuck's sake, first time playing this in ages, in ages and I don't even make that shit. What a piss take. Wow, typical of it to cut off. I have to look at my TV. I have to turn around completely just to look at my TV. Because of a stupid issue. Oh come on man, have some respect. Yes. <laughs> this bastardizing my position. Oh for fuck's sake. This is what I have to do, it's ridiculous. I don't think I'd have <coughs> Sorry about that people, but yeah, I don't think I would even have this problem with any other capture card. By the way, speaking of which, at CES 2020, Elgato have officially announced their brand new capture card, the Elgato Game Capture 4K 60S Plus, which is pretty much like an external USB 3.0 counterpart or USB-C interface counterpart per se of the Elgato Game Capture 4K60 Pro Mark II and not only that but like it's it's a capture card that's that is actually the first of its kind it's the first capture card that will actually allow users to to both record in 4K at 60 frames per second in HDR with like like with a USB interface, like you can finally do it externally with that capture card. And I think it's set to come out in February, but I don't exactly remember. Okay, that's better. But yeah, I think like honestly, 
that looks far more promising than the Ava Media Live game of 4K. I mean, I know I say that about every capture card that looks amazing, like, especially like before it comes out, but you know, it just depends on how it performs and given Elgato software, usually it is better, but since it's 4K, it doesn't change the fact that you still have to use the 4K capture utility within, like as part of Elgato software. Like, as part of, like, the selection of the software that you have to use, like, for 4K, you still have to use 4K capture utility, because, apparently, there's something about, like, the original recording software for the Elgato that doesn't exactly handle 4K, or they just don't do that on purpose. I mean, they could implement that feature in the original software, but for some reason, they don't. Whatever it is, it must be a good reason. Okay. Yeah, I think like playing Winter Festival, I mean, oh yeah, Gingerbread Joyride is a track that, you know, this, that the Grand Prix has introduced. And we're on Nina's Nightmare. Oh yeah, also, speaking of like, Crash Bash, like the Winter Festival also introduced Rilla Roo, a capture. I mean, a character that no one would have thought to have returned, and speak of the fucking devil, there he is. And, of course, Rec Central had to pull this shit. I'm telling you, like, Elgato's brand new capture card, the 4K 60S Plus is gonna be so sick, and it's... And it's just gonna solve that stupid problem that we don't even need. I haven't been live streaming for long. I really don't get why this has to happen. And great, Rex Central crashed just as I predicted. Oh god, it didn't used to crash this much. Like it never used to crash as often as this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll play as Rilla Rue at some point as well, just like showcase him. Because why not? Oh yeah, Yaya Panda, another character that was introduced in the Winter Festival Grand Prix. Are oh, you prick? Okay, I've got to be really careful here. You prick. Actually, I don't have to be that careful, but you get the picture. But it is pretty convenient how we got Rilla Roo as well, especially especially since he was a character that n that no one would have thought to have returned. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Like, I remember how toxic the online was as well. Man, they they just can't fucking leave you alone. It's so annoying. Man, I hate stuff too, man. I This is what live commentary does to you sometimes. I dibs on that oh, oh, and while we're on masks, like there's a brand new mask that's like coming to the Rustland Grand Prix. And pretty much it's like, it's eff effectively, it's a mixture of both like the Aku Aku and the Uka Uka masks from the Mutant series, which is really interesting, but it's like a Megamix, but in a way it's like a Megamix fusion of like both of the masks. It's like a metallic Uka Uka on top of like, I don't know, sort of like an urban Aku Aku. 
Although I'm not sure Urban's like the right way to describe it, but. Like, I only looked at it once. I only looked at, like, you know, the concept once. I mean, the new track that the Rustland Grand Prix is introducing is Mega Mix Mania, which is really cool. And speaking of which, we actually have the character Mega Mix from Crash Bandicoot XS, aka Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, for the Game Boy Advance. And it's sick to see him make a return, another character that no one would have ever thought to have made an appearance or a return. But, of course, with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, anything's possible. Yeah, I know I haven't been too... I haven't been doing too great in these matches, but it's only been two, but still. You know, I could be doing better, but it just depends on what happens. Wow, that's hilarious. Like, <laughs> the way engine just, like, crashes into, like, invisible glass. Like, I love that attention to detail there in this animation. Like, you can legit see, like, the barrier of, like, the invisible glass that he crashes into as well. Gingerbread Joyride. That's the new track right there, people. Oh, Quagmire UK. <laughs> Legit. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Giggity. Anyways. Alright. He quit. Only here for a few seconds, and wow, that is mad flickering coming from Rec Central. But I apologize in advance for all the bullshit people, but it is what it is. Sorry, people had to mute my mic for like a good few seconds because people were just talking outside the door and it's just fucking disturbing. It's just background noise that you don't need. There are some shortcuts that you can take, like this one for example. Well, um, to be honest, like for not playing nitro fueled in like some time i really i honestly didn't even expect to make that shortcut and here's another one it's easy to make but at the same time it can be hit and miss like so as you've seen just then well okay thank fuck i actually didn't take damage because and good thing that i didn't because i was still spawning at the time well still respawning anyway Well, it looks like this guy's all about jibber jabber. Them jello shots. Jello shots, motherfucker. And this level is like. They can to press harder on that pedal. What you call it? It's. Like, it really fits like the window thing. Okay, well, I almost didn't make that one. I almost didn't make it that time, but... Well, okay. And I nearly hit the fucking vehicle. Here we go again. You know... You know what's funny? Like, almost every time I try and make that, like... I, I always make it across, but at the same time... 
but most of the time it's like I think most of the time I do make it across but I don't know how to explain it I mean I get across for like most of a path but it always lands on that section where it just respawns you and to be honest I don't think it, that should be the case if you're already that far you should just ricochet off the fucking you should just ricochet off the barrier because that doesn't make any sense whatsoever okay I'll go up here just to showcase this section even though it's a little bit longer but it doesn't matter because I'm in fourth place anyway it's fucking cunt well, I almost got him with the fucking bomb there. Oh, he fucked himself over there anyway. He played himself by shooting me. Yeah, I really don't like how this shortcut is, like, you know, complete and not hit and miss. It's such a piss take. But I do like what they've done with the turbo pads, though. Like, they made them actually fit, you know, the atmosphere and the whole aesthetic of the theme of the level. Like the whole aesthetic theme of the level really like you know blends in. I didn't have my compass, it doesn't count. Like, it suits the level better than you know the generic green turbo pads. So like honestly, that's good attention to detail there. Well I don't know why it just showed us the first two laps and not the final one. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that's because I didn't actually make it to the end before the timer ran out, so... Yeah. Like, the countdown just... Of course, when there's like, a certain amount of people that have just finished... I think, like, after the third person crosses the finish line, then that's when the countdown starts. To when the match just comes to a complete close. A retro crash. What do you know? And we see retro crash in action. <laughs> that Mega Mix looks sick from what I've seen. Like especially in the B-roll press gameplay footage. It looks so sick. Like and yeah, Mega Mix is basically a combination of all the boss fights in Crash Bandicoot XS or in the US Crash Bandicoot Advent Crash Bandicoot the Huge Adventure. So yeah, it's basically Mega Mix is literally a combination of or is a mutated combination of Cortex, Dingo Dial, Engine, Tiny. Yeah, there are just four boss fights in excess, so it's literally just a combination of Dingo Dahl, Engine, Tiny, and Cortex. Actually, I think it's like in that order as well, like, because you see Dingo Dahl's, because it starts off with Dingo Dahl at the bottom, then like, it has Tiny's body, and then like it has, you know, engine's head like, engine's like robotic head on like one side and cortex is on another, but engine's part is on top of cortexes. So yeah, it's like a mutated robot per se. It's like a robotic mutated combination of of Dingadal Tiny Engine and Cortex. Dingadal Engine Tiny and Cortex. That would be like the order of the boss fights within the game. To my memory. But well, it is because like I just remember it. Because like I just remember them by warp. Anyways. Engine labs. Yeah, it's easy to lose blue fire at this section. Although I am using, I am using the drift engine, so it does help preserve it. Yeah, I always aim to achieve like as much blue fire as possible. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Oh, I see someone's trying to pull. I see someone's cat in me. Someone's like trying to pull off my tricks here. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You could have held that for a little bit longer, don't you think? Like, legit, the blue fire still, like, it could have held for longer than that. So close. Than yes. <laughs> People who are watching us from the start, if I actually mentioned some things earlier but like didn't get to finish them and said that I would mention them later on well if I don't if I don't get to mention them it's probably because I just forgotten about them so like yeah I sincerely apologize for that in advance like just before the live stream ends because like you know how the human brain works and how it like also how it works under pressure as well man what a bitch that shouldn't have happened, man. Just like fucking grinding itself against the wall. You're taking the piss. Well, at least I was in a better position now. So I can't really 100% complain, but it still could have been better. Well, five live viewers, welcome to the live stream. Whoever just joined. I sincerely apologize for the moment of silence, people. I just, there was just something I had to take care of. But yeah, I'm back now. But yeah, so far, no one's commented in the chat, even though I have four live viewers, but hey, can't force them. But like, it still would be nice, you know. Like, because at least that gets a conversation going. But hey, if people have nothing to say, I can't force them to say anything. Anyways, Android Alley.
Ah, oh, let's beat this motherfuckers up. Why oh, you prick? Okay, that's the most retarded shit to ever happen. It's like fucking. It was bad enough that I was hit earlier on, but the fact that I was hit again and, you know, like thrown into that fucking train, like it just made things like 10 times worse. I actually can't wait to play as Meganix. Speaking of Meganix, I'm, I'm not sure, like, you know, how they're gonna go about with, like, unlocking him. Is he gonna be, like, a Grand Prix unlockable? Like, as in, like, you know, achieving the gold tier? Or, well, actually, I'm not sure if, if they'd even go that far just for unlocking the character. Although, a character, in a way, is quite big but you know I think they'd probably like have a gold tier you know I think the gold tier reward it will probably be like a skin for Mega Mix that gives you like a definitive amount of points like it gives you like a definitive percentage boost in terms of you know earning nitro points Yeah. I'm not sure they like, keep away. Or maybe like you're not gonna mix halfway through the Grand Prix. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, when you complete the bronze tier or the silver tier. Yes! <laughs> well okay, that was close as fuck. Wow, like the way that Nitro crate is like you know clipping through the track. It's like, it's still, it's, it's standing on its edge and it's clipping through the track at the same time. Now it shows how fucked up online can get. Oh man, getting hit in the train mid-air, that takes the piss. That takes the absolute fucking piss. Yeah, but this is pretty much why I don't usually live stream at this time because usually there aren't as many people who are like, you know, available to join and actually, you know, show up in the actually, you know, properly show up in the live chat to actually, you know, show some support to the live stream. Cuz at least you're giving something extra. Actually, no, it doesn't really take anything extra to leave a comment, but you know, it is what it is. Some people are here just to chill and I'm fine with that. I mean, this is just a chill live stream anyway. So, like... I'm glad, like, the last live stream was, you know, as eventful as it was. Because, obviously, it celebrates the start of a new year. And a new decade, so... There are things that keep on resurfacing that I want to talk about, but at the same time they just go away at the most random points. I just hate it when that happens, but hey, it happens to everybody. And plus, that's what live commentary is all about. Improv. Improv! I don't know if anyone's like, you know, seen Family Guy or like gets that reference in general, but yeah. Improv! Now that episode is just hilarious. Anyways. Yeah, people be like, oh, I was just a dude playing online. But to be honest, like, in a way this does give me more of a reason to do a live stream as well. 
Oh, one of the things that I want to mention is that, although I did partially mention this in the previous live stream, I didn't like completely mention like you know all of my plans to a full extent or to the extent that I wish that I would have mentioned it to that I wish I would have spoken about it to if that makes sense to you but yeah in terms of like plans for making content in general yeah as well as my as well as finishing off my Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Let's Play also as I've stated multiple times previously, I'd also like to live stream other games, especially PC games like Overwatch and what you call it, and Rainbow Six Siege. Like there are two, those are two sick games that I'd actually like to, you know, do live streams of. Yeah, they'll also be, they'll also pretty much be chill live streams like this. But I don't know. In a way, I'll sort of try and make them more eventful, but. I know, it depends on how things go. And plus, you know, all these Grand Prix that Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel keeps on bringing in. You know, it, it really does occupy a lot of my time. But yeah, live streaming more PC games, especially. I'd still like to you know, live stream Overwatch, especially since Overwatch 2 is coming out this year, which I'm actually really pumped for. Speaking of which, I wonder if they're going to do a collector's edition for Overwatch 2 as well. They probably will. Like, not in Blizzard. And if so, I might actually end up pre-ordering it this time. I might actually, like, you know, pre-order it and get it when it comes out, instead of like, you know, in a way just leaving it as like, a backlog purchase per se. Because like Overwatch back then, when it came out in 2016, it was a sick game and it still is, and it was a game that I've been meaning to get for a long time and in 2016 I got it on both the PS4 and Xbox One. But like, I didn't get it on PC because I wanted to get the collector's edition on PC and I didn't... And for those of you who have been paying attention to my, you know... Basically, my presence online in general is called Pro195 on both YouTube and Twitch. You'd know that recently, I only... Well, I say recently, but now, like, pretty much as of... Well, basically as of last year, 2019, like, that was when I actually finally got my hands on the collector's edition of Overwatch for the PC. And I'm glad that I finally have it in my possession. And I really hate it when live commentary yes. just bastardizes you. Wow, okay. Unexpectedly I made that over. Man, that was a curveball of a that was a curveball of a transition there. Fucking hell. And yeah, I hate having to repeat shit, but you know Man, literally, it's like live commentary gives you a swollen tongue or whatever. Or what the fuck ever. Anyways, it is what it is. Wait, I crossed the finish line. Ben, how come it doesn't display the third lap? That's weird. Like, it displays the times for lap 1 and 2, but not 3. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, it wants to give me a black screen. There we go. But yeah, presumably everyone has big plans for their content. Although, of course, like, there's a lot of... <laughs> Fuck. I hate when that happens. Ah. 
So now they've actually changed it. Actually, this makes a lot of sense. Notice your return to the title screen due to an update to online configuration files. So yeah, basically, the update has just hit. Now that it's officially just gone past 3 o'clock. Wait, it's officially just gone past 3 p.m. GMT. Now here we are. It's pretty much transitioned us into this right here. New Rustland Grand Prix. Even though it's funny because it just shows everything like... It still shows like... Well, that makes sense because I haven't actually updated the game. It just threw me back to the title screen because they just changed like on f online configuration files. But now it's just like, it shows like, it still shows the Winter Festival Grand Prix aesthetic simply because I have obviously the update just hit and I, and it didn't like, and I haven't downloaded and installed it yet, but they just changed the online configuration files for the servers. It's now like, as you can see in the headlines, it's advertising for Rustland Grand Prix. And here we are. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new car, Snowplower. Uh, I think that's what it does. Wait, I think that's a glitch if you don't update it. Because I swear, like, I've already earned this. But anyways... I think I might actually reset the game just to see how it is. But yeah, that is interesting. Oh wait, let me see if I still have my stuff. Wait, I can just do this in any track. Yeah, I still have the decals, good. And I see they swapped some stuff around. Okay, so I think now that... Okay, so now the Grand Prix, like the Winter Festival Grand Prix is officially over. But even though it reads it as the Winter Festival Grand Prix, it's actually the, what do you call it, the Rustland Grand Prix. But it's just not showing it like that because obviously I haven't implemented the update, I haven't actually downloaded and installed the update on my console just yet. Simply because I didn't get a notification. Which is obviously because I'm still in the game. But yeah, but before we exit that, I'm just gonna showcase the CTR TV cutscene for Nitro Fueled. I mean, not for Nitro Fueled, for the Winter Festival Grand Prix before we part ways of it. So yeah, this is an interesting new take on parting ways of the Grand Prix. I've never done it so close to like the new Grand Prix. To like, to part ways for one Grand Prix, like as. The other one is just starting well technically i have but that was right when it started it wasn't i think it was on the day that it started but either that was a few days anyways enough of that i'll just showcase ctr tv for the ctr tv cutscene just for the you know the winter festival grand prix just for the sake of consistency with these live streams Reporting live from the track. Hey, uh. <laughs> anyway, shall we have a look at what's coming up in this Grand Prix? This track is loaded with candy coated and 100% artificially flavored carbohydrates. Looks like we have a few fresh faces joining us this season. <laughs> <laughs> Were you waiting for me? You've never seen speed like mine. Well, it sure looks like these racers are ready to get a head start on the season. You 
said it, chick. We've also got plump new rides, decked out with all the jingle bells and whistles. I can't wait to unwrap these rumbling road busters. Oh, I'd give anything to be down there, face first in that fluffy, frozen frosting myself. What do you say we treat ourselves this holiday season enjoying the competition? Oh, yeah! Bring on that sugar rush. Who's ready to get scrambled? Okay, that's that showcased. But anyways, I'm not sure if, you know, online will work now. I mean, it makes sense since they've just done conf the configurations to like, you know, the servers have just been implemented, like within like the files, but now, but that's just only halfway. Like, it still needs the other half. And that's obviously, like, the update to be installed. Yeah, it's funny how it says it's over. Yeah, like, I've quote unquote earned the snow power, a reward that I've already earned. Of course, as you can see, this is a glitch. And let's see what happens if I jump into online now. Since. The Rustland Grand Prix has just dropped. By the way, I'll be playing the Rustland Grand Prix like off air, just like I've done with every other Grand Prix, simply because, you know, it just, it's just less pressure that way. But yeah, it still like throws me here. So like, it doesn't do anything pretty much. But anyways, people. I think honestly I should just call it a live stream. Cause like this is just meant to be a short, chill live stream anyway, and even though no one joined, like I appreciate those. Well even though no one actually commented, like I just I appreciate those who actually just showed up and watched just for a chill vibe and this is in a way it's better than nothing and it was also a nice way to part ways with a winter festival grand prix as we move on to the rustland grand prix and i'll be back with that hopefully like when it comes to pretty much around the end of like the rustland grand prix when it ends on the 16th of february 2020 so yeah, we've got a whole month of a new Grand Prix ahead, I hope you lot are pumped. So yeah, that basically concludes this quick, nice and quick, chill livestream that I had going on. And for those of you who, are, who have been sticking around, I really appreciate the support, even though I was only live for a short time. Still, it's, it's better than nothing, and in a way, like... I pretty much did what, I more or less did what I wanted to do anyway, so it's okay. I know it may not be much for some people, but for me, given the circumstances, especially since like the amount of time I had in my hands previously, this is all I had time for. For the, so yeah, for those of you who expect, who are pretty much expecting more, like, I, I really wish I would have done more, but it depends. And like, I think I can only like partially apologize for it because we can't help circumstances. Like, it's just the way it is, you know. But anyways, for what it's worth, this is a decent live stream for whatever I could have done. Like, given the circumstances and those of you, and for those of you who are watching this on Twitch, feel free and be sure to follow Feel free and be sure to follow to keep yourselves updated and stay tuned for future live streams. And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, feel free and be sure to subscribe, like or rate, however you want to put it, drop a comment below to leave constructive feedback if you possibly can and I'll share it around with your friends and family, whoever they may be and see you lot on whatever's up next on both my YouTube and Twitch channels. So yeah, those of you who are watching this on Twitch, if you haven't followed yet, feel free to f 
feel free to follow to keep update for future live streams. And I know I said that previously, but I wanted to restart that because I felt like I could have done it better. But anyways, enough of that. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the live stream. So stay tuned for whatever's up next on both YouTube and Twitch from yours truly, called Pro195. Until then, later everyone. Peace out.